Hello everyone, I am Professor Rakshata Rao, Computer Engineering Department, Viva Institute of Technology. In this video, I am going to cover Rabin Krab String Matching Algorithm. In my previous video, I have already covered string matching, uh, two string matching algorithms, Naive, Naive String Matching Algorithm and KMP Algorithm. In Naive Algorithm, we, we just compare text with the pattern with the help of window and in KMP, we use pie table. In Rabin Karp algorithm, we can calculate hash, hash value for the pattern and subsequence of the text to be compared. How to calculate hash value, we will see later in this video. If the hash value of T is equal to hash value of TS, then only we can compare the actual string. If hash value does not match, then the algorithm will continue the hash value for the next subsequence. If the pattern is matched or pattern is found, then that, that time that thing is called as valid heat. Whereas if pattern does not match, then it is called as spurious heat. In this way, there is only one comparison per text subsequence and character matching is only needed when the hash values are matched. If hash values does not match with the pattern, patterns hash value then we don't want to or we, we do not check the strings to compute a pattern a pattern is given over here ts plus 1 is equal to d ts minus d rest to m minus 1 t of s plus 1 plus t of s plus m plus 1 where ts is the values of substrings and d is a decimal value i will um, i will tell you what is decimal value and m is window size consider this example consider the following text and find out pattern in the same text also count how many spurious hits does the rabin kark matcher encounter in the text here the text is given and the pattern is given and also Q is given. Now what is Q? Q is nothing but it is already given in the question. If it is not given then consider the it consider Q's value as any prime number. Any small prime number. Q is required to calculate mod. Mod is required to calculate hash values. So here given data is text. I have already written text over here and the indexes are given. Total 11 indexes are there. Pattern is 26. Now we have to find out this 26 pattern that is 26 in the text above. Q is 11. Now we can calculate the modulo. P mod Q that is 26 mod 11 is equal to 4. Now we have to consider this 4 value as hash of P for the rest of the calculations. And we will just check and consider this hash value with the remaining values. Length of the P is equal to 2 because the exact values are 2. Therefore the size of M or size of window is also 2. As I said, P mod Q was 4. This I have already written over here and M is equal to 2 and the string it is written over here with the index indexes. P is equal to 26. To compute the pattern, I have written the formula over here. In the first iteration that is T0, we will consider index 1 and 2 that is 31 so 31 if we mod 31 with 11 we will find out that the value of hash of ts is equal to 9 now consider hash of p is equal to hash of ts 4 is not equal to 9 therefore mag does not found that means it is we don't have to cross check the pattern with the text just 
calculate the next value. Now, T1. T1 is equal to D. D I am writing as 10. As I said, D can be any value. But now, we can uh, see here, D's value, I mean, D's values are from 0 to 9. These values are from 0 to 9. So, this is nothing but decimal value. So, I am considering these values as 10. 10. Ts. Ts is 31 minus 10 raised to 2 minus 1 because m is equal to 2 into T of s plus 1. s is nothing but value of subsequence and it starts with 0. So, consider 0 first then 0 plus 1 plus t of 0 plus 2 plus 1 10 into 31 minus 10 raised to 1 that is 10 into t of 1 so t of 1 that is index index 1 we have to check index index 1 is 3 consider 3. So, 10 into 3 plus t of 3. t of 3 is 4. The value is 10. 31 minus 30 is 1 plus 4. Final answer is 14. So, the next subsequence is 14. So, this why I am calculating this because the previous text was 31 it is not matching with the pattern 26 so now i have to calculate the next subsequence what will be the next value so for this i have calculating entire thing so next value is 14 because the size of window is 2 we have to discard this value and we have to compare this value with the pattern that is 14 with the pattern it is not matching with the pattern right so take hash value 14 mod 11 is 3 3 is not matching with 4 then calculate t2 10 now the new Ts value that is 14 minus 10 raised to 2 minus 1 into T. Now the value of Ts plus 1 will be 1 plus 1 plus T into 1 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 10. 14 minus 10 into T of 2. T of 2 is 1. Here T of 2 is 1. We have to check the index not the value. T of 2 is index 2 and the considering this value as 1. This is multiply. T of 4. T of 4 is also 1. So it is 1. Now 10 14 minus 10 is 4 plus 1 equal to 41. Now 41 mod 11. 41 mod 11 is 8. Now we have to check the hash value with p hash value. 8 is not matching with 4. Iteration. Next iteration. 10 new value 41 minus 10 raised to 2 minus 1 into t of 2 plus 1 plus t of 2 plus 2 plus 1 this is new value this is value of windows and this is the formula now 10 41 minus 10 into T of 3. T of 3 is 4 plus T of 5. T of 5 is 5. 
so the final value is t this is 41 minus 40 is 1 plus 5 is equal to 15 now check value mod hash value 15 mod 11 value is 4 now check value of hash hash value of t is with hash value of p it is matching 4 is equal to 4 so we have to check the string what is the string 1 5 over here it is 1 5 now we are considering window as 1 5 and the pattern we are searching for is 26 it is not matching with the actual pattern that because 2 is not equal to 1 so it is not matching that means this hit is nothing but spurious hit spurious hit now we will consider the next iteration t4 t4 is equal to 10 again the same formula 15 minus 10 raised to 1 into t of 3 plus 1 we have considered in the previous iteration t of s plus 1 value is equal to 2 now it is 3 plus t 3 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 10 15 minus 10 into t of 4 is 1 so it is 1 plus 3 this is 6 t of 6 is 9 and the final answer is t of sorry 10 of 10 in bracket 5 plus 9 equal to 59 now 59 mod 11 is equal to 4 again this value is matching with the p value so we have to check again check the this pattern with the original pattern original pattern is 26 and the this pattern is 59 2 is not matching with 5 that means this hit is again spurious hit okay. so now t4 we have to calculate t4 sorry we have already considered t4 now it is t5 t5 is 10 in bracket in previous iteration we have we have uh, got the value of t4 as 59 so 59 minus 10 into t in bracket 4 plus 1 plus t of 4 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 10 59 minus 10 into uh, t of 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 means index of 5 index of 5 is 5 plus t sorry t not t 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7 t of 7 is 2 so considering 2 and the final answer is 92 so 92 mod 11 is equal to 4 so we have to consider this iteration and we have to compare pattern with the newly found find out string substring so pattern was p was 26 and the value is 92 9 is not matching with 2 so it is nothing but spurious heat next iteration t6 t6 is again 10 into 92 minus 10 raised to 2 minus 1 that is 10 raised to 1 into t of 5 plus 1 plus t of 5 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 10 of 
नाइन्टी टू माइनस नाइन्टी प्लस सिक्स एंड वी गॉट वैल्यू एज ट्वेंटी सिक्स ना वी हैव टू चेक ट्वेंटी सिक्स मोर इलेवन वैल्यू इज फोर अगेन वी गॉट वैल्यू एज फोर एंड द प्रीवियस हैश वैल्यू वॉज फोर नाउ चेक विद द पैटर्न एक्चुअल पैटर्न टू इज मैचिंग विथ टू सिक्स इज मैटिंग मैचिंग विथ सिक्स सो एट दिस पॉइंट वी गॉट वैलिड हिट सो दिस इज वैलिड हिट अगेन कंटिन्यू विद द सेम प्रोसेस टी सेवन इज इक्वल टू टेन इन ब्रैकेट ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस टेन रेस टू वन इन टू टी ऑफ सिक्स प्लस वन प्लस टी ऑफ सिक्स प्लस टू प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू टेन ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस टेन इन टू टू प्लस दिस इज फाइव इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फाइव सो सिक्सटी फाइव मॉड इलेवन इज इक्वल टू टेन टेन इज नॉट मैचिंग विद द एक्चुअल वैल्यू ऑफ हैश पी दैट इज फोर सो कंसिडर नेक्स्ट इटरेशन टेन ऑफ सिक्सटी फाइव माइनस टेन रेस टू वन इन टू टी ऑफ सेवन प्लस वन प्लस टी ऑफ सेवन प्लस टू प्लस वन इक्वल टू टेन सिक्सटी फाइव माइनस टेन इंटू सिक्स प्लस थ्री इक्वल टू फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी थ्री मॉड इलेवन इज इक्वल टू नाइन इट इज नॉट मैचिंग विद द ओरिजिनल पैटर्न सो नेक्स्ट टेन फिफ्टी थ्री माइनस टेन रेस टू वन इंटू टी एट प्लस वन प्लस टी एट प्लस टू प्लस वन टेन फिफ्टी थ्री माइनस टेन इंटू फाइव प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू दिस इज थर्टी फाइव नाउ थर्टी फाइव मॉड इलेवन इज इक्वल टू टू इट इज अगेन नॉट मैचिंग विद द एक्चुअल पैटर्न सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व एक्चुअल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ रेबिन कार्प स्ट्रिंग मैचिंग वी गॉट द एक्चुअल वैलिड हिट एट दिस इटरेशन बट इन द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ इट इज आस्क दैट वी हैव टू काउंट हाउ मेनी स्प्यूरियस हिट्स डज द रेबिन कार्प मैचर काउंटर in the text so we have exactly three spurious hits in this example so spurious hit count equal to 3 exactly three times spurious hit occurred and valid hit at index Seven. Thank you so much.